The phone rings unexpectedly. You take the call. It's from a reporter asking awkward questions about you or your business. Many people learn the hard way that what comes out of their mouth in those first seconds after the phone rings will haunt them, their family or their business. So here are some pointers we give our clients should they get that call. Getting a call from a reporter can be intimidating. You may be tempted to hang up immediately and ignore all further calls. But you're far better off knowing what a reporter intends to publish and dealing with it, rather than fearing what they might write, but ostrich-like, doing nothing. You could easily miss the print deadline and lose the opportunity to get your position across. So once you have a reporter on the phone, what's off limits? Trying to speak off the record. That's a dangerous place somewhere between Narnia and Never Neverland. In other words, it doesn't really exist. If the story's a real cracker, you can't rely on a reporter not to use it simply because you've used those words. If you don't wish to see it in print or online, don't say it. So what about no comment? Well, at best this means little, and at worst it may be reported as refused to comment. Readers will think you have something to hide or that the allegations are true. Think twice and take advice before using those two little words. So what should you say? Ask for the journalist's name, contact details, the publication they work for, their press deadline, and for them to send you an email setting out their questions. Then you'll know who they are, what they want, and when they want it by, rather than saying what pops into your head on the spur of the moment. The public may have an insatiable appetite for details of what others get up to, in the boardroom or the bedroom, and the press is certainly keen to feed that hunger. If an inquiry from the media appears to risk either your reputation or your private life, you should seek advice right away.